In this video, I would like to help you guys to tune your ukulele if you already have one. And if you don't, you should definitely consider getting one as this is an excellent instrument to start on. So let me get the one that we use here at the school. It's a Lohanu and I believe the model is LUT. A great instrument because it comes already with a strap, uh, which mainly the strap is easy to get, but what you need is strap locks, you need the strap uh, to have a place to hold the ukulele. And a lot of ukuleles don't have that. So we definitely recommend for you guys to have one that already comes with this because it's a big help for students that are younger. So let me show you the first couple of things that we have found, especially when tuning ukulele, especially when you get it the first time, is that it's gonna be really out of tune and it gets particularly complex to tune it. So the strings would go from the one on the bottom closest to the ground when you're holding it this way, will be one, then we have finger string two, string three, and string four. Now mine is already in tune, but usually it's gonna be pretty out of, out of tune. So I'll detune a couple of strings just to almost recreate where would that be uh, when you get it, let's say, out of the box. Now, I am gonna use my iPad, and one of the recommendations that I have is try to get a, one of those free apps for piano. I think this one is literally called the free piano. And one of the things that is important, and that's why I want the app, I want to show you guys, the string uh, four is the letter G. So that is this one. So, I would start by tuning that one. And one thing that you can do, especially at the beginning, is to try to get it close. We have another app that I'm gonna show you in a second how to use, but I will play that note and try to get close to it, even if it doesn't sound perfect. Now, you don't wanna do a lot of big turns. Uh, you run the risk of literally breaking the strings. So the second string, and that was, was, that was a G, right next to middle C, so this is middle C and this was that G, that is string number four. Then you have string number three, that is going to be a C. And in this case, the ukulele is a little bit, I guess, interesting in which the string four is higher than string three. So then actually we're going down, so we're going from this C, sorry, with that G to this C. So the next one is C, so I'm gonna play C on the piano here. Just get it close. Now the next string that we have, which would be string two, is the letter E. And if I show you there, so two black notes, the one on the right, that is an E. I just use that as a reference to get it ballpark, you know, close, as we're gonna finish this with an app, okay? So let's say that one is already fairly close. And then I can do the last one, which is gonna be the letter A. Now, of course, my ukulele was already closer, but the point is that once you get it close, I would use an app called Guitar Tuna, which also is free, and I already have in my uh, iPad here. Uh, an important thing, usually I have it already here. Here you have to change, usually the app is gonna be on guitar. So when you have it on guitar, it'll say standard up here on the corner. So there we wanna change to ukulele. The ukulele that I have is, um, uh, tenor, but the tuning of the tenor uh, and the concert and the soprano is the same one. So now the cool thing is now when I play those notes, you're gonna see a little balloon. And the good thing about the balloon is that when I get closer to the actual note that I need, this is gonna beep. So I'm gonna play it, play it very recurrently. Once it beeps like that, that means that it's in tune. One thing that is important, don't do this with a pick, do it with your thumb, with the skin of your thumb, and try to play constant notes so the machine can actually do its job. Let's go to string number three. I'm gonna play it. And it's a little bit, there it is. So again, little movements here. String number two. Good, and then string number one. So once the ukulele is in tune, it's very easy to just use the app. The reason that I use the piano thing at the beginning is because when it's really far out, it's very hard to tell what note you're going for. And I think the app may even have trouble, especially when it gets shipped, because usually when, when instruments get shipped, they on purpose really detune the strings so it doesn't break as easily. So that I think is important to know. So definitely keep in mind, I think using this app is a great thing. The app really works well because it gives you the balloon and the balloon not only tells you if you're going too low or too high, but you can see the direction of where it's moving. So if it's moving in the wrong direction, change direction on the pegs. So hopefully that is helpful to you guys to get your ukulele in tune. 
Ukuleles don't last in tune long at all. I would say every two or three songs is, is fairly out. And remember that when you play it, you want to play it softly. Ukulele is not an instrument that we really play hard. A lot of younger kids tend to really play it hard and it takes it out of tune even quick, quicker than it should. So we hope that, again, the video was uh, helpful and we hope to see you guys soon. Remember, we're the Hit Music Studio. Our teachers are available to, to teach remotely. We even have a new program called the Flex Lessons Program. So definitely drop us an email, visit our main site, thehitmusicstudio.com, so we can even schedule a free trial so you can meet them and talk a little bit about what are your goals in music. We hope to see you guys very soon. Take care.